Hey, I'm MJ. And I'm Sean. And today we're going to be talking about time. Totally. Sean, how good do you think of a perception of time do you have? Do you know when five minutes has passed or do you know when 10 minutes has passed? I think I'm generally okay with time. There was this time where I forgot to set my alarm and I went to sleep and I woke up the next morning mm -hmm. and I looked at the time and it was the time that I would have woken up had my alarm been set. So I think I'm okay with time. Well, good thing you did. Yeah. I think we generally have a good perception of time, but have you ever thought about how long forever is? I'm, the reason I'm asking is because today's big idea is life with Jesus is forever. Whoa, that's a very long time. Yeah, man. Let's take a look at today's God story and see what that really means. We're in the middle of our series called Arise from the book of John. Arise means to get up. And in today's story, Jesus tells someone to do just that. Hey everyone, I'm Carmen. I wanna share with you today's big idea that life with Jesus is forever. There was a man named Lazarus from a town called Bethany, and he had two sisters, Mary and Martha, and all three of them were really good friends with Jesus. Lazarus was sick in bed, so his two sisters sent a message to Jesus to tell him that his good friend Lazarus was really sick. When Jesus heard this news, he told his disciples, this won't end in death. No, this is for God's glory. Because of this, God's son will receive the glory. Jesus really loved Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. After staying where he was for two more days, Jesus said to his disciples, let's go back to Judea. Judea is where Bethany was. They probably wondered, why wouldn't he go see Lazarus sooner? But they also were probably worried because the last time Jesus went there, people tried to stone him. But Jesus reminded his disciples that he is the light and they didn't need to worry about that. Let's read what happens next. After he said this, Jesus went on speaking to them. Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, he said, but I am going there to wake him up. Now that might seem like a normal thing. He's sleeping, I'll wake him up. But when Jesus says sleeping, in this case, he means that he's dead. Let's keep reading. His disciples replied, Lord, if he's sleeping, he will get better. Jesus had been speaking about the death of Lazarus, but his disciples thought he meant natural sleep. So then he told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. For your benefit, I am glad I was not there. Now you will believe, but let us go to him. To be honest, that's kind of a strange thing to say. I'm glad I was not there, but Jesus was definitely up to something awesome. And so Jesus was all set to go and Thomas, one of his disciples, said to the rest of them, let's go with him. Now when they arrived, Jesus found out that Lazarus had been dead and in a tomb already for four days. Ugh, can you imagine how much that must have stunk? Anyway, many people had come by to visit Mary and Martha to comfort them as they were so sad. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she ran out to meet him. Mary stayed home. And when Martha saw Jesus, she said to him, I wish you'd come sooner, then Lazarus wouldn't have died. But then she also said to Jesus, but I know that God will give you anything you ask for. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. And Martha said to him, I know he will. This will happen when people are raised from the dead on the last day. And then Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live, even if they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she replied. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God. I believe that you are the one who is supposed to come into the world. After she said this, she went home and called Mary to her. And she said to Mary, the teacher is here and wants to see you. And when Mary heard that Jesus was here, she ran to meet him as fast as she could. Jesus was still at the place where Martha had met him. And when Mary ran out to meet him, others followed her. And when she got to him, she fell down and said, Jesus, I wish you had been here. Then my brother wouldn't have died. Jesus saw her crying and some of the others that had come with her were crying too. And when Jesus saw this, it made his spirit sad. Remember, Mary and Martha and Lazarus were really good friends of Jesus. And it's really tough to see your friends sad. And then Jesus said, where did you put him? And the people said, come and see, Lord. And then Jesus wept. 
And all of the people around said, look, see how much Jesus loved him. And when he came to the tomb, he said, take away the stone. But Lord, Martha said, Lazarus has been dead in the tomb for four days. There's going to be an awful smell. And then Jesus said, didn't I tell you that if you believe you will see God's glory? And then they took away the stone. And then Jesus looked up and thanked God the Father for always hearing him. And let's read what happens next. Then Jesus called in a loud voice. He said, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out. His hands and feet were wrapped with strips of linen. A cloth was around his face. Jesus said to them, take off the clothes he was buried in and let him go. Lazarus was alive. You see, Jesus has power over everything, even death. And when we commit to a life of following Jesus, we can be certain that life with Jesus is forever. We don't have to be afraid of anything, including death, and we can live our very best full lives with Jesus. Friends, it's always so good to be together. I can't wait to see you next week. In today's God story, we heard that Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. He blew everyone's minds when he invited Lazarus to come out of the grave. Yeah, and that shows us Jesus has power over everything, even death. That's why we say life with Jesus is forever. It goes beyond the grave. Totally. But what does that practically look like for us today? I got the chance to hang out with a few friends, and let's see what they had to say about it. No, no, no. Imagine if he did that. Oh. No. No. And he does. Oh my gosh, it's so <laughs> cool. So cool. You can so tell that John really loves playing with the Rubik's Cube. Yeah. It seems like he spent yeah. hours practicing yeah. it, oh eh? Gosh, yeah. Just every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that um, you can think of in your life that um, you could see yourself doing forever? Um, well, for me, I would probably, if I could like do anything forever, I would probably do musical theater for the rest of my life because oh, cool. I love it so much. Ever since I started it, I loved it and I work really hard. I'm dedicated to it and I love it so much. That's so cool. And Love you know, that. for me, I really enjoy dancing. I've been dancing for 13 hours a week so far. Wow. Um, I just feel like it's my happy place in my home. That's awesome. I love that. Yeah. How about you, Maxim? Um, well, something that I could see for myself doing for the rest of my life is probably, I th I'd say music and writing songs because uh, it just feels so safe writing them and I can, it feels like I can just put all my emotions onto paper. I love that. That's so cool. It's a safe place for you. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. How about you, Logan? Uh, probably something related to art. I just feel really happy when I'm doing art. Nice. I feel really attached to it and just really think I can do something with it. Mm -hmm. Very creative. That's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> and you, Natalie? I feel like I could do hockey. Oh. I've been doing it for six years, which feels like forever. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I put in so much effort, and I just feel that I want to continue with that dedication and just persevere with it mm -hmm. and see where That's it goes. Good. Six years yeah. is a long time. Yeah. yeah. Cool. MJ, what do you think you could do for the rest of your life? Oh, that's a good question. I was going to say running um, because I love to run, yeah. but I'm not sure if I'll be running when I'm an old man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, but if I could choose another answer to that question, I'd probably say my relationship with Jesus. Yeah. Um, Jesus has been with me when I'm happy, when I'm sad, um, through the good times and through the um, not so good times when I'm, when I'm more sad. Um, and that's, I think that's because his love for me and our relationship is really dependent on the fact that he gave his life for me. Um, and so that is always true um, in, in every single season. Um, and so I think that is one thing that's going to last forever. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. 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 It probably fits in for like everyone, I guess. Yeah, yeah, totally. Well, who's hungry? Me. Yeah. <laughs> How about I go grab some pizza and we can yes. come back and okay. eat? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So as we heard, there are some things that my friends felt so passionate about that they felt they could do forever, like singing, dancing, musical theater, creating songs, hockey, art, all of it. Yeah, and I love what you said about relationship and how your relationship with Jesus is one that will last forever. And not because of what we did, but because of what he did for us on the cross. Totally. Let's break into our small groups and see what this looks like for our lives.